Hi, my name is David Christian. I'm a uh, founder of Track Rats and also the inventor of the screen stick. And this is a little bit of a story on how it came to be and uh, the advantages. Um, I run, uh, my background, I've been doing track days in the 70s. I ran EMSA cars in the 80s. Uh, I still instruct in track days and the Lotus Elise behind me is, is my current weapon of choice. Uh, I started doing all my own setup on the car, uh, corner weighting, alignment, everything else. It's a little light car, as you guys all know, and so it's really, really sensitive to setup. And so uh, when I started doing my own alignment, uh, I was trying, um, it's, I kind of need to work to at least half millimeter increments on one side of the car because like a millimeter across the car especially in the rear you really really feel it uh, you know if it's a change in, in the case of the rear I'm running toe in uh, so I was trying to find something that I could use not only to measure a millimeter but to have it repeatable and the my professional background is I was an architect an industrial designer that sort of thing so real design oriented and it's not the first time that I ended up making a tool because I couldn't find the tool on the market that would work. And I, and I, I bought a couple of things that were uh, supposed to be the hot tip. And uh, one of them I started to, uh, that's sold widely. I, uh, the tolerances were just terrible on it. And so I started to remanufacture it basically. I have a lathe and mill here in my little shop. And uh, it, it was just a, I was trying to make a good example of a bad idea. So uh, I kind of changed, uh, changed my path and I started uh, looking at other ways to take these measurements. And one of the key concerns was if I was trying to work to half millimeter res uh, measurements, well then if I put the device in and I'm taking my measurements but I'm a little down or I'm a little bit up or something like this, that amount of error that in, in tilt could make a quarter or a half millimeter difference in, in my measurements. So over time, in quite a few prototypes, uh, I came to the, the string stick. And basically, the, the key to it is the level that you see there. Now, now the, the measurement itself, uh, it's a nice scale. It has very wide markings on it, so uh, it makes it really easy to line up on the string. And uh, then in, uh, I give you the choice of what scales you would like. We offer about a half dozen scales. Uh, this one is marked in half millimeter increments. Uh, and then this one is decimal inches. So it measures tenth of an inch, that sort of thing. Uh, for those of you that are used to working in eighths and uh, sixteenths, uh, you can get a scale like that also. And on that note, if you're using metric and then that next weekend you're set, helping somebody set up a circle track car, well, you can turn it around. So now the circle track or the um, imperial scale is up and then turn it back. Uh, also, uh, if you're in a situation where your wheel rim, uh, let's say the string just has to fall anywhere on here, it doesn't make any difference because the numbers are only relative to themselves. But the threaded section here is, a, I think it's 1024, you can get them in hardware stores, but there's a lot of thread back inside the handle, so you can just undo it, run it out, you know, if you need to get further out uh, to pick up your string, or you could thread it in a little bit more if you wanted to. I find this works pretty well for the way I set up my car. And so um, that's pretty much the background of it, is, is you want to put this against the rim, you want to have the string coming over the top somewhere in here, and I like fluorescent uh, mason strings. Uh, you can get them in hardware stores, they're bright day glow colors, and there's no fuzz at all on them, so it's really, really easy to see the edge of the, uh, the string. I like it a lot better than using fishing line. Uh, in some cases, I, it just seems like it's, it, it's, it's easier to pick up. And um, so what you're doing is you, you put this against the wheel rim, say in the back of the rim, uh, toward the rear of the car, and you get so that the, you, you basically come up, just maybe moving up the rim a little bit so that the uh, bubble is showing right in the center. That means that the unit is dead level. And then by the same token, you don't want to drag, be moving the string with the device. So you just want to very, very lightly touch it. 
and then using the long lines, be sure that you're exactly parallel to the line, and I think you'll find that you can get really, really repeatable results, meaning when you think you've got a millimeter or a toe out, let's say across the front of the car, you'll find out that you can check it later, and yeah, it's a millimeter or a toe. And so that's the, um, uh, basically the way the thing works. And uh, I'll uh, uh, show you now kind of in what it looks like whenever you're, you're actually using it uh, on your car. Now, um, I didn't do the full setup here on um, as far as running the string all the way down like I normally would. I just, although you can use jack stands, I actually have a rig that I can put on the car that mounts, mounts across in the front and then across in the back also uh, that's made out of one by one uh, aluminum angle. And uh, but essentially all you're doing is you just come in, set it on the rear rim, set out against the edge. Now I'm looking back and forth until I see that I'm lined up there, playing with the angle, slide it down just a little bit, and that's showing about eight and a half. Uh, and that eight and a half number is just going to be relative to the front. So that's eight and a half millimeters. Then I come into the front, and I check here, and when I'm leveled out, Going the wrong way. There we go. So that's showing about eight. So if I'm showing eight and a half here, eight here, that means that I've got toe out, and that would put that would be a half millimeter toe out on this side. If I had the same thing on the other side, I'd be running a millimeter of toe out uh, on both sides, which would, um, of course, make the car point into the corners a little bit better. And this car responds pretty well to that. And so uh, that's really about all there is to it. Uh, you, you're working front and rear. Again, you have the, the two different scales. Uh, and you have a choice of scales when you order. And uh, basically, um, that's the whole story. And you can reach us at trackrats.com I'm assuming that's showing up in there yeah trackrats.com and um, we have other stuff too and our motto is pro racer parts at club racer prices so give us a try we don't advertise much we rely on uh, word of mouth so thanks for watching this